Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video, because today we're going to be going over the Gala Dragalia Remix, give some thoughts about it, um, talk about the unit that is being added to it, which is Komodo Knot, and yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you specifically feel about it, and then subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. Alright, so it's time to talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to this Galadragalia Remix, as you can see here. Here's Komodo Knot, extremely adorable. And here's Galaluca, oh he's a good guy, he's, he's very good. <sighs> Galathor is fucking featured on another Gala Remix. You have got to be shitting me, Dragalia. You have two, two, two better light units that could be more deserving of a rerun than Galathor. It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't feel like Galathor was constantly getting a rerun and is also fucking useless. Maybe it's a lot of it is because I have like 10 copies of him and I use none of them in anything because he's not worth anything at the moment unless I decide to buff him. But Nihility has completely made this man useless and the only thing you can use him in is anything that's not Nihility related. But the other two are just so much better than him that it doesn't make any sense to actually use him if you have any of the other ones. And now that with some light dragons getting buffs, um, thanks to their unbind and some fights not even lasting over three minutes, so it's better to use them over him. This is the most useless thing they could have done to this banner. It actively hurts the people wanting the summon on this banner. Because it hurts bad, because I would love Komono Knot. And I'm gonna do some summons on it, but I'm not gonna go full, full ham on it, because this fucker is on the goddamn banner. And the chances of getting him are too high. I, I seriously pull Galathor so often that I pull him when he's unfeatured, and when he's featured, it's only twi it's twice as bad. It's terrible. They should not have done this. If there's feedback, I would send feedback saying, you should either demote Thor to be a not limit to not to take away Thor's Gala status, or to stop featuring him on so many fucking banners, because it's getting annoying, and it's actively bad, and it's actively making the banner terrible. So with that, let's actually go and talk about uh, Komono Knot, who is the new unit. Your girl Knot is looking mighty sassy in her New Year's kimono, and she's planning on trying new things to making a wonderful memories with her friends this year. She has a new kimono for her grown-up self. Fairy Sunshine, Sunrise, it's a shareable 6. Restoring HP to all teammates and continues gradually healing all over time. Also restores additional HP to all teammates based on the number of butterflies the user currently has summoned. Increases the entire team's shadow resistance if the user has six or more, then consume all con all summoned butterflies. When shapeshift, deal damage to multiple targets and enemies near those targets and inflict flash burn. Also deals additional damage to the location of the user's summoned butterflies, including those summoned by the user's second skill, and consume them. Recover potency is 105. Additional recovery potency per butterfly, 6. Uh, and a skill energy requires 6,255. 16,982 when it is a shared skill. Regen, Shadow Resistance 20%, pretty nice. Wind Shapeshift damage is 338 over 5 hits, bonus damage 168 over 1 hit, and gives Flash Burn. Mm, Fairy Fortune, restores HP to all teammates, removes all affliction from the entire team, and increases the modifier applied to the damage against Shadow Attuned enemies for the entire team. Also fills the user's metamorphosis gauge based on the number of butterflies the user currently has summoned, increases the entire team's max HP if the user has 6 or more, then consumes all summoned butterflies. When shapeshift, deals damage to surrounding enemies and summon 4 butterflies that will appear in a circle for 13 seconds. These butterflies will disappear when the user shapeshift ends. Uh, recover potency is 110. Skill energy required is 8940. Special effects, affliction recovery, all afflictions, HP 10%, light attune damage 10%, last 30 seconds does not stack. Shapeshift energy gained per butterfly is 75. When shapeshift, the damage is 1,045 over 1 hit, circling butterflies, damage is 72 over 1 hit, triggers every 1.5 seconds per butterfly. Her co-op ability is recovery potency 20%, pretty nice. Chain co-op ability is 
light combo equals shapeshift prep 5. If the user's team is attuned to light, fills 3% of their dragon gauge for every 50 hit combo benefits the whole team. Very nice. Abilities New Year's Metamorphosis 2 grants the user a unique shapeshift called Metamorphosis and replaces the dragon gauge with a Metamorphosis gauge. Tapping the gauge after it is filled to a certain threshold will allow the user to shapeshift, and then shapeshifting the user will use Metamorphosis to transform regarding, regardless of what dragon they are equipped with by tapping the gauge a second time and after the gauge has been consumed. The user will return to their original form, grants all teammates a life shield equal to 20% of the user's maximum HP at the start of the quest. Also, the user standard attacks, four strikes, and dash attacks to summon butterflies and pursue the targets. These butterflies will disappear when upon shapeshifting or when the user's shapeshift ends. The user's uh, four strikes will also restore HP to all teammates. In addition, using the user's first or second skills, including the user's skills, when shapeshift will grant them a critical damage amp with a maximum team amp level of one. After this amp is granted, the ability won't grant it again for eight seconds. Okay. Poison resistance 100%, skill prep 100%. Oh, damn. That's really nice. So yeah, this is uh, Komodo Nut. She's very good. She's, um, she seems fun to use. The only problem that she has is probably on auto. She'll have to use Sandalfin's um, AI, which sucks because the Sandalfin's AI is not good at healing. <laughs> it's very bad at healing. It's actively terrible at it, especially if there's corrosive um, stuff on there. She won't heal you with corrosive. It's it's really dumb. They need to fix that AI because it's not good enough. So that's kind of a bummer. The other parts of her are fantastic though. I like what she does. I think the healing is pretty good. The only thing she's missing is over damage because it feels like a lot of the best um, healers nowadays, not only do they heal, they also give over damage. She doesn't really give that, but that doesn't make her like unusable because she's a very weird like I was about to say, maybe, you know, maybe they're dialing it back for some of them. But she, what she makes up in that, she gains by having just crazy um, healing, like healing from four strikes and having a co-ability that recovers potency by 20%. I also like this chain co-ability where it's the combo makes prep time better. That's very nice, especially for light that uses uh, uh, the Gala Prince. So... Yeah, I think she's a pretty good unit. I don't think that she's so good that you need to stop everything. At least based off of now, I have no idea what that boss is going to look like for light. It may turn out that that boss is so strong that the only thing you need, you might actually need the healing powers of not. But for the time being, it doesn't really feel like you need her. She's not a. She's going to be a unit you can definitely use, and she's going to be good. But she's not going to be so dominant that she's the only healer you use, is what I'm currently thinking. Um, we won't know what the new, with the new boss fight, I assume she will be tailor-made for it, but that's speculation on a dude that's not even out yet, so, gonna have to hold that in. The only shame about her is, again, this fucking dude, man, they need to stop putting up this motherfucker. He's terrible, like, it made me so sad the second I saw him. Like, Reborn Gene or fucking the Dio Dragon would be better. I forgot his name. <laughs> I just remember that he's a time dragon who does Dio stuff. Uh, no, no need to correct me. I'll remember it eventually. I'm just, it's late when I'm recording this. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some summons. I probably won't do a summon video just because if I do a summon video, I might end up using everything. But I just want to do a couple summons, see if I get her. And if I don't, then I'm just going to stop. But I'm not going to go crazy. She's not limited, so there's no real rush to get her unless you badly want her. And I do badly want her, which is why I want to summon for her. But again, it just sucks at the way that they've structured the banner. I can understand Galaluca. Galaluca has his place, and he's been buffed, and he's good. But not not Thor. Thor is a lost cause unless they start um, buffing Gala dragons that have long passed. Him and Cat Sith. I actually would say Cat Sith is more useless. No, actually, no. I hate Gala Thor way more than I hate uh, Cat Sith, I think. But anyway... That's the end of today's video. Also, you could potentially get her with a ticket if you're someone who spends on Dragalia. Someone who doesn't really want to spend on Dragalia, <laughs> that's not really an option for me. So this is really the best chance I have at getting her, I think. But anyway, it's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Tell me what you feel down below. Maybe you're someone who really does care about Galathor and you see some untapped potential. Feel free to leave it down below. I'll read it and see what you say. But at this point, man, I feel like most people don't like Galathor. <laughs> so... Anyway, goodbye everyone. Peace out. Have a good day. Fuck Thor.